Hey there YouTubers, all right, different little angle here. We're gonna install the uh, i7-10700K in the ASRock Z490. This is the Phantom 4 Gaming motherboard that I bought, that I've unboxed. Um, it's been featuring a lot of videos, putting the i7-10700K in there. And uh, you know, simply uh, this guy is getting the bigger CPU cooler, right? Because since we have a unlocked chip, we can actually uh, overclock it. Now, notice um, the way I'm putting this in. Um, you know, CPU is going to be at least on the ATX. Um, I will call it in this this northerly direction on the motherboard, uh, the upper portion, closer to uh, where your I/O shield is. But what I'm getting at is the direction of the text. The notches in here will line up. This triangle will match uh, either, sometimes there's a spot on the motherboard, um, other times it is on the uh, securing bracket there. You know, sadly I forgot what the name of that is, but this one does have a triangle on it. So we're going to match those triangles up, okay? Alright. So we're about to lose our... Uh, all right, so um, of course, if you have a uh, the cover in here already, you know, basically, you'll want to leave that on. This has had the i7-10700 in it, so we're going to, uh, you know, go uh, and basically the route that we we're replacing a CPU, whichever you're taking out. So once again, notches there. Uh, there's a little protrusion there, and you just want to, you know, put that in there lightly. Um, you want to make sure it's all lined up, that it doesn't move around uh, side to side. Now, obviously, if you apply pressure this way, lifted it up, it would move around, but uh, it's in there. So now that I've got it that way, I drop this down. I want to make sure that this goes up underneath the uh, fastener and the motherboard, and then we'll pull down on the clamp, and boom, we're good there. Now we need to get some thermal paste. All right, so. Um, We've got some Noctua um, CPU paste. Now, funny thing is I'm using this with a uh, Scythe uh, cooler, one of their competitors. And uh, hopefully we have enough of this. That's kind of my biggest fear when I do this, is that I'm going to run out. So, that's a good amount. Maybe a little more than you want. Now, um, I've already actually assembled this thing, and uh, you know, unlike some of the Noctua's and other things, you can actually have the fans on ahead of time on this one. Uh, we have two CPU fans, and on this motherboard, there are actually two CPU uh, connectors. Uh, the other motherboard I have actually does not have that. I would have to use one of the splitters. Um, so, hence, that might be one of the reasons why I went with this. Now, mounting brackets, um, I'm going to go ahead and put these back in. So without these on here, we are not going to be able to put the cooler in place. I keep crashing into the... Uh, crashing into my... camera. It took me five minutes to uh, figure out what I was saying. That's the problem with getting old sometimes, folks. You just cannot remember stuff. Um, just go brain dead. So, you know, important things uh, when you're doing this, obviously, in a computer, putting the fan in, you want to make sure your exhaust fan is uh, going that way, towards where the I.O. shield is, right? So just make sure you put it in, put them in the right way. If you don't, you'll regret it later because you'll have to disassemble everything. Now this CPU has obviously been out a while. I missed out on getting it at a good price. And uh, and but wasn't honestly for the fact that my wife wants a uh, 
gaming computer. She's tired, I think, of my son and I having awesome computers. Um, I say awesome computers. I might have multiple awesome computers. But, uh, you know, she's a little jealous of that, I guess. So, all right. So, of course, depending on what CPU cooler you have, you would have, uh, you don't have to connect it now. You can do it later. Um, a lot of times it's easier to do this outside of the computer case. Uh, this big monster is, you know, this is going to be an issue trying to get to that, having this honker on. So you may have to put the CPU cooler in after you put it in the case. Just, uh, you know, that's something you guys got to figure out. In this case, this is going on a test bench, test bench, and we do not have to worry about that. So I'm trying to line up the two screws with uh, these two holes, and that will ensure that we have our... Uh, see if I can drop you guys down so you can see it a little better all right so hopefully you can see that we've got one lined up you probably will not be able to see the screwdriver until it engages the screw and we're just gonna try and put a few threads on there then we're gonna go to the other side a lot of times with this kind of hardware you uh, run into problems if you tighten one side down too tight it looks like we're, when I say that, you go back and try and tighten the other side and you'll never get the uh, screws to align. But in this case, probably not as bad. Um, this is a pretty good design. It could cool the uh, CPU a little better in my opinion. But uh, beyond that fact, I'm pretty happy with it. All right, so we don't want this ridiculously tight. We do want it tight though. Um, so it's on there good. Now to put on the test bench. All right, so we've got the ASRock Phantom Gaming 4 on the test bench. Uh, some of you would laugh at what my test bench is if you actually saw it. But so we, uh, we're just gonna connect the minimums here. And uh, you'll, you'll notice uh, we do have RAM on here, right? So that's one thing you're gonna need. To boot to BIOS, you don't need a hard drive on here or solid state. You do need your uh, power switch, if I can get that to focus. And uh, that guy goes, let's see if we can get the angle. Second row, two over, or the second set of two. You can see that right there, so that's good. We need, a, uh, we need our 24 pin power connector and put that in so that's in then on the back side we need our uh, ideally because this is a, a overclockable CPU I would get uh, I would have my second rail here for CPU power but dumb me uh, I left that at home so we've only got the ability to do um, one by eight and uh, so I don't know how much power, how much performance we're missing out on if we're missing out on anything. We'll find out when I get back. All right, so um, I'm going to boot this up. Then we're going to put the RTX 2070 Super on it and do some, uh, start doing some gaming. Now, of course, one other thing we need. We need our uh, mouse and keyboard hooked up. Yep. Might as well do Ethernet too. All right, one other thing we need is the um, HDMI. So we've got HDMI here. Make sure we put that in the right direction. If we can get it in there. Alright, so that's good to go. Now we can fire it up. So we do have a red light on. Hopefully it will go away.
Okay, it went away. And voila, we, uh, we've booted Windows. We're good to go. And uh, off to making videos, folks. Hey, thanks for checking out the video. Please uh, check my uh, gaming videos, uh, maybe some benchmark videos, and uh, all the other crap I'm going to do.